What's up guys, Coach Cam back again. This is a leg day combined with an upper body day. Um, and in today's video, I wanna talk about how muscle mass is functional. Muscle mass on your body is what gives you functional ability. It's what allows you to move, right? That's our greatest uh, asset, our greatest ability as a human is to be able to move and avoid being someone else's prey, right? So muscle mass allows you to produce force. This force can save your life, whether that's climbing or, or jumping or being able to move your body out of a dangerous situation, be able to produce enough force to stop objects from crushing you or rolling on top of you. Um, your muscles are there to produce force, right? And those muscles are the basis of functional ability. This idea that my muscle is not functional, bro. My muscle is just mass and it's taking up space and it's not functional is nonsense. That comes from just modern bodybuilding culture of a bunch of steroided out dudes that are so big that they can't scratch their own back and sit on a toilet. That's not you and me. That's not even in the realm of what we're talking about. We're talking about how the tissue on your frame allows you to produce force. And when you are 90 years old, you're going to look back and say, wow, if only my muscles could produce more force, I could walk easier. You know, I could get up and down stairs easier, get up and out of my chair easier. This is what muscles do. They produce force. And that is paramount to understanding exercise because any physical activity, any sport that has gotten anybody results in terms of their fitness improving, it's due to contracting skeletal muscle, the muscles of your body. Nobody has gotten fitness-related adaptations without contracting their muscles, whether it's running or directly challenging them with weights in a gym, right? So when it comes to your muscles, you want to improve all of what's called the trainable factors of functional ability. These factors are muscle mass increase, muscle, muscle strength increase, which goes along with that. Then you have your cardiovascular and metabolic improvements as well as bone and tendon strengthening. Any activity that does not give you all of these is not exercise. And any activity especially that can or does get you injured is also not exercise. So this, the, the exercise needs to be safe. It needs to improve your body, give your body stress to adapt and improve, not test the limits of your tendons' abilities uh, to not tear, right? So it's about challenging the muscles of the body. This is also how you improve your health, right? Your metabolic health. People with type 2 diabetes have very low levels of muscle mass and they consume an abundance of carbohydrates, usually in the most refined form, which is sugar. So people with type 2 diabetes have a hard time processing uh, insulin that's secreted in their bodies when your blood sugar is high because their muscles are not accepting this sugar they don't have much muscle tissue to accept the glucose and they're over consuming it. So it's a perfect recipe for type 2 diabetes. So the best way to combat this is to actually train the muscles of your body, challenge them with weights, right? The most efficient way to do this is to target muscles directly with compound and or simple exercises to challenge their function which is to produce force to contract to squeeze them right some people call it squeezing a muscle contracting it it's all the same thing using it uh vigorously with enough resistance to cause it to be exhausted right so in this video you're, you're seeing push-ups i'm challenging my chest and my front delt and triceps all three of them um and pushing it to exhaustion, right? So that's how you get the most stimulus to your muscles. That's how your muscles want to be trained, right? If muscles could talk and tell you, hey, this is what I stimulate from, 
trained me like this, they would say, hey, keep me under tension and continue to contract until I am severely weakened and have to cease the exercise, right? This is the most direct form of getting adaptations to your body. You can do other things that give you exercise-like side effects, right? You can run, you can bike, you can do CrossFit, you can swing kettlebells around, you can do yoga, Pilates, bar A or bar fitness. You can do calisthenics, body weight, gymnastics. There's a hundred million things you could do with your body and different activities will get you some results, some better than others, right? But ideally the best way to get results to your muscles is to target them specifically directly intentionally and fatigue them in a reasonable time frame and and train vigorously right with a high effort high intensity right that's where high intensity training comes from high effort right you're putting forth the most possible effort into uh, fatiguing your muscle fibers that's how you recruit them is as you approach a point of muscle failure. So this is just the best way to conceptualize why targeting your muscles directly is the best way to go. It's the most efficient way. You're getting straight to the stimulus, right? You're not beating around the bush. You're not hoping your muscles get stimulated from this certain activity or sport. You're saying, no, I'm going to sit here and I'm going to contract my muscles as hard as I possibly can or until I can no longer continue, right? That's training hard. That's giving your body an intense stress, a stress that signals it to get stronger, right? And I know people say, well, what if your goal is not to grow muscle, you know? That's not really an excuse in terms of your muscle is what's helping you get stronger. You're like, that's like saying, I don't want to be too strong. I don't want to be too resilient, right? It's like saying, I don't want to be too resilient to disease. I, I, I want to still be susceptible. No, you don't. You want to be the best version of you. The best version of you has plenty of muscle mass. Why? Well, as we just talked about, to prevent type 2 diabetes, to have a healthy body, you want to have healthy muscle on your body. This comes from also not pay, not taking PEDs, not taking drugs, not drinking alcohol, right? Getting a decent amount of sleep, eating high protein. All these things help you have the best body and the, the best health possible, which all of this includes weight training. This includes challenging your muscles directly with resistance. Uh, when it comes to the, the phrase, you know, weight training or bodybuilding or Uh, resistance training these are all terms that it's hard to relate to people what the relay the message or what i'm saying without using those terms um you could quite literally be on an island have almost no equipment at all and still get the results of exercise why because you have muscles on your body that you can contract you can contract them isometrically if you had to you could hold you know a tree branch in your arms for as long as you can You could do like zercher squats, deadlifts, like you can contract your muscles, you can get adaptations. And so I don't want to pigeonhole this and limit it to only like weightlifting in 2024. No, this has been going on since the start of time. And you just happen to be in in a culture, an era where the gym is available, where exercise equipment is available, and we have weights that you can cater exactly to the specific uh, intensity Uh, that you need but ultimately you know we have machines today which that's the next you know that's the next step is machines right machines allow you to target your muscles so efficiently a well-made machine not any junky machine but a good machine a high quality machine will allow you to target and fatigue the muscles directly in a better form than something that's less stable they're having to constantly balance and juggle and uh you know, your muscles are, they're kind of like rubber bands, right? They're already flimsy. They're already stretchy and bendy, kind of like a resistance band. So um, using uh, resistance bands like that, it's not the best way to go. However, something completely opposite of that would be something extremely stable, like a machine that 
will be very beneficial and you can target all the tension directly into your muscles to see the best possible adaptations. So I really just hope this video helped you guys grasp the idea of where I'm coming from and the whole point of exercising, right? And I've said this before too, that you don't need to have a lot of space to do this. You don't need to run miles and miles and have like a track or a trail. You can do this in your own home. You can do this wherever you are as long as you have some resistance available and you yourself are able to contract your muscles very, very intensely. That's the name of the game. It's not about volume. It's not about repetitions. This isn't training for a marathon or getting a super high specific endurance. This is about targeting your body to get adaptations to your health, to your functional ability, and to your well-being. More muscle, higher quality muscle, will play a role in helping you improve everyday daily functional movements that you need.